and hello everybody on Twitch here and also on YouTube if you're watching this later. Um, we have some different decks today, uh, starting with a donation deck where we're going to be playing um, an Orza version of Angels, which I guess this one isn't necessarily too different. We've been playing a bunch of different Angels decks and we played some, some Orza of Angels before. Um, after this we're going to try Selesnya Control and then Demir Quasi Sacrifice, uh, two decks that um, I played last format and haven't played since RNA came out. Um, the Selesnya Control I've only played it one other time. And uh, then we have Grixis Legends again later on. Uh, that deck was a lot of fun to play uh, the other day. So those are our, our decks that we're going to be having later on. But first we have this donation deck where we're um, our Black White uh, Knights and Angels. Um, so we got... Um, you know, we have our, our early Knights with Knight of Grace, Knight of Malice. Uh, Knight of Grace in particular is really good against Sultai. Um, and then Midnight Reaper is a Knight. Same with History Benalia makes some Knights. So we have we have our Knight Synergies. Uh, we have a bunch of Knights, and uh, then we have a bunch of Angels. And we have our Angel Synergies with uh, Lyra. So, yeah, we're just playing a lot of creatures here, um, trying to curve out. We have Find Finality to be able to get our get some creatures back. Um, but then we have just, just a few green sources in here uh, that we can cast Finality uh, if that comes up. Um, that's our only uh, green part of the deck. Immortal Sun just kind of does everything at the top end. And in our sideboard we have more things against Control with Duress, Bloodfast, and Spyglass. Uh, good card against Sultai with Honor Guard. And then we have a little bit of uh, removal against everything with Binding and Enchantment Hate with Mortify. So that's our deck. Let's try it out. Oh, yeah, Shalai, activa Shalai activated ability. If we get a couple green sources, we can do that. That's true. No, no contempt. Um, as far as planeswalkers go, we have we have Ixalan's binding if we need it uh, for planeswalkers. But we have we have Spyglass and Spyglass and and um, uh, Immortal Sun um, should do uh, just fine against them. Phoenix is annoying. We'll be bringing in Ixalan's Binding against against Rekindling Phoenix decks for sure. Demir Guildgate. That's a good sign for Knight of Grace. Um, Usually, like Demir Control, all the removal is black. Knight of Grace has Hexproof from black. It's a good sign. So, we have 26 lands. Um, so, you know, because these Angels decks, you know, you always want to hit five land drops. And so, you got to play a lot of lands because you don't have um, many, many ways to draw cards. Hmm. So this may be a soul type player uh, with a, a budget mana base. I mean, well, I mean that's not a may. Like that's just that's a, a definite. Um, oh, or this is a gates deck. Hmm. Even if Seraph of the Scales gets swept up into a Gates of Blaze here, uh, we still have our other tokens. But I like I like putting the pressure of like make them have Gates of Blaze kind of thing. What? All right, who knows what we're what we're playing against? Not necessarily a bad ego for us. I mean, Unward Ego is just card disadvantage, you know? Like, we just 
gain, get to draw two cards, make sure we hit our, our fifth land drop for the Angel of Grace. But yeah, they, they're dead also. That's also a thing. So they gotta see our deck. Oh well. Um, certainly seems like a control deck. I'm not sure how many, like, duresses we really need here. You know, just don't don't know exactly what's going on. My favorite dessert to eat? Um, hmm. I'd say probably my favorite, probably cheesecake. I'm not a very big dessert person. Um, but that's the one that, that comes to mind right away. Yeah, Knight of Malice main, you know, is probably just going to be a two mana 2-2. Two, two. But two mana 2-2 two, two is honestly just fine. I'm not so sure we need these cast downs. Could see them playing Guild Summit. We're gonna have Mortify and Binding. We're gonna cut uh, two Liras, cut the Knight of Malice. I don't like what that does to our curve though. I guess we have the Duresses earlier too. I don't know. We'll we'll try it out. I, I don't like. I don't know if I like cutting Knight of Malice. I don't, I don't like our cur our curve very much without Knight of Malice. No, I have my my contacts in today. Um, I did a little exercising today to try to feel a little better. Um. And so I don't have my contacts in. Or so sorry, I have my contacts in instead of my glasses. Um Let's give it a try. Not a great should be pretty good in this matchup, but we just don't know Yeah, I don't know what their removal's like or anything. Just don't know what our opponent's doing. We have we, we are our 26. Like, on the play, I would not keep this. But on the draw with our 26 lands, I, I kind of think that... I thought that, like, between our first two draw steps, we could probably draw an untapped land. Uh, but we didn't. So, so you know, it's basically a 50-50 shot each time. Um... Yeah, looks like they're just some kind of five color deck. Who knows what they're really doing? Uh, I just I jogged, maybe ran. Eh, it's basically jogging. Quick, eh, I guess it's running. So I I guess I just walked, ran, and jogged. I guess I did all those on the treadmill today. Hmm. Yeah, motion on the treadmill. I guess, yeah, I guess I did all of those. Well, I hope they don't have another Gates of Blaze. The first one is okay. Okay. Never mind, it's just not okay anymore. 
Splendid Angel. Okay, gonna replace replace binding with cast down um, with us seeing them have naturalize. Definitely get these Lyras back in. Not sold that we need fine finality or that fine finality is too good. Um, maybe not the immortal sun. Why does the deck play Find Finality? Because Find returns creatures that die back to your hand. It's a good value card. Kind of debating between like Duress and Night of Malice. Um, for the most part. I don't think I want duress. I'm gonna just go with the creatures. Yeah, no, Pedro, I, I don't get invited to any of those events. Fortunate. I would like to, but all right, this will do. Hey, Soul Farmer. I'm not sure if I want to lead with history immediately on turn three with us seeing them have the naturalize uh, previously. Because I probably should. I don't know. Could just kind of go with like the, the Midnight Reaper plan. Um, make us better against a potential sweeper. Let's go Reaper into Reaper. Try to gain more card advantage. White Korean, thank you so much for that cheer. Oh, thanks, Skyrims. Thank you so much. Okay, that's for the for the. Okay, donating for the um. For the Jeskai deck, perfect. Okay. Um, I probably should be going history into history. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Um, when would you like me to 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 play the Jeskai deck? Do you want me to play it today? Go, Reapers, go. Eight eights are pretty big. 
Okay, cool. Got got the deck list. We're gonna go there. Uh, to like sit way over here. Or I don't necessarily want to. Gay Colossus may kill us. <sighs> this is a tough turn. So, like, the best thing I can do is like Sarah for the scales and have Death Touch for the Colossus. Um, but if they that may be, they that may honestly be my only option. Um, if they kill the Seraph, I'm dead. Uh, the histories, yeah, yeah. There's there's just not another option. Um, because if, if I go Knight of Malice plus Knight of Grace... Um, Gate Colossus is just a, a huge problem. None of our smaller creatures can block it. Oh, yeah, we could chump block with a knight if we would have. If they would have had just a singular removal spell. Um, The good thing about these night, uh, the two mana knights is that Profane Procession can't touch them. Oh, I, I, sorry, I didn't have Deckmaster up. Thanks for reminding me. It'll be up soon. Alright, it should be up working now. You may need to refresh your stream. Or it may be up. Um, I, I'm playing the double history here instead of history plus two knights because if they if they do have a sweeper like the like a gates of blaze or something um, I don't want my knights to necessarily get swept up I don't think they have one though yeah I don't I don't think they have one. How much is this thing going to cost? Three, four, five, six, seven. It's just going to be like one mana. I think if they do have... I 
Maybe they did have a sweeper. They would not have just played their war leader. Or they would have killed they would have killed the Seraph of the Scales the turn before and killed me. So I don't think they have one. So first strike damage will take down the war leader, and then we'll just be able to block these things. Okay. Uh, no plans right now for a limited stream. Um, I did. I did a little bit of limited uh, whenever. Ravnica Allegiance came out to help get the cards. Um, but no, in general, um, I haven't had as many... Uh, I don't usually have as many viewers in with Limited as Constructed. Uh, tomorrow, um, I should be getting in a new fan tomorrow. Um, you know, it's supposed to come in tomorrow, and so I'll be, um, I'll be replacing the, the fan and the computer and everything, and hoping that that, that helps it. So that's my hope that after after tomorrow, hopefully the these lag problems go away that we've been having over the last two weeks or so. That's the hope. All right, so looks like mono white aggro. Um, so I want to have this cast down available for that card. And that does mean that we're going to have to shock, but uh, it's certainly worth it to... Ooh, don't even need to shock. Not yet. It's certainly worth it to get that thing off the table. Yeah, cast down was a lot better than Mortify there. Having Mortify would have just, you know, would have been too clunky for that. Like a Zoe with the Twitch Prime to sub. So much so much hype in the channel for that. Thank you so much, uh, Like a Zoe. Thank you very much. Um. I really do appreciate that. So that is sub number two on the day, and it actually went it looks like the, the sub count went down a little bit bit, but that brought it back up, so to needing 94 there. Biggest thing. Son of Kekistan. Also with that sub with the tier one sub. Thank you so much. Son of Kekistan. Let's see. Let's get some more hype in the channel. Thank you so much. That's a, this support really does mean a whole lot to me. It's, it's 
Y'all are the reason why I'm able to do this. So thank you so much. Um, okay, we need to... We need to gain the life here. Um, and make some 4 4 blockers. Uh, you're sick as heck right now, Tiki Jiki. Oh man. So yeah, that is, that is really rough. Um, I'm, I'm not feeling the best either. Uh, but I am, I'm not that, not as sick as, as, uh, you've been, thankfully. Alright, gonna make these blocks. Alright, good, they don't have a Pride of the Conquerors. Um, I haven't, I'm not a, yeah, I haven't played any, like, Esper control, like traditional Esper control. Um, I've played like Esper taking turns a couple of times, which is Esper control with a little, you know, a little flair to it. Uh, played that a couple days ago, um, and also uh, I don't know, we played once like two days ago, and then the other time was like five to seven days ago. Um, Oh, people don't play Pride anymore, do they? Because people play the the new one. That's the main phase one. Um, but no, Pride of the Conquerors is like the instant that you, you play instant speed. Um, oh, we'll be fine. Um, so Immortal sends out... Um, yeah, Unbreakable Formation. Uh, Kaya and Modern. I could see Kaya and Modern be pretty good, honestly. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that as a as a good card. So they have what Venerated Luxodon for this. I'm gonna just play a couple Honor Guards over the couple Midnight Reapers is like a little bit earlier blocker, so that help the curve out a l again a little bit. Let's go with this. I think I like finality uh, in this matchup. I think like if we can if we can cast finality, uh, it should be really good for us. Hey, what's up, James? Um, but yeah, I guess to, to finish off the thing about to Raspin, sorry to th finish off about uh, Esper Control. I don't usually play like the the tier one decks too much um, on stream. Uh, you know, I, I like playing lots of different different decks. Um, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I got that three month uh, tie badge. Heck yeah. Oh, the guy that eats mayo. Also getting the sub in. Thanks, that guy over there that's eating some mayo. Gets us to four here and ninety-two. Um, on my list of things to do, uh, that is one of my list of things to do is uh, new tie badges that that look um, that are better differentiate differentiated. Uh, there. Um, I think the four color gates deck is is pretty strong. Um, I I kind of think that the Nexus of Gates may be the v best version of Gates, um, but it is just really good against uh, the different all the different uh, mid range decks. Just goes so far over the top. Should I be attacking or no? 
It's the worst case scenario that happens if I attack. I don't know. So let's attack. Alright, do I dubs Knight of Grace or get another history in play? I think I'm gonna double Knight of Grace. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not a. I, I kind of think that the uh, regular four color Nexus is worse than. or sorry, four color Gates is worse than the Nexus version. But I'm not sold that it is. Oh, that'd be that'd be good, Mass. I I wish you could not to not go back to work. I would approve if it was up to me. Alright, so no blocks for the opponent. So now, with them being at three, each one of these first strike knights are lethal the next turn. Um, we'll see if they have like an unbreakable formation, would be a pretty good card for them. No, Knight of Mouse is blockable. It only has hexproof, it, it, it's blockable. I call the gates deck Ram Ranch because of the Great Baby Rams. I like it. Um, block two of these. That's us taking 12. I did have the Unbreakable Formation. That was certainly a good card for them. It's kind of the card they needed. We need to just draw a removal spell for Benelish Marshall, and we win. Dang. Yeah, I guess the Angel probably would have been a better play last turn uh, to for you know to have the flyer in the air. With them being at three, um, I was I was slightly worried about dying, which is why I played the the history to have like another like kind of chump blocker. I wouldn't really want to block with the resplendent, but I think we would have been fine without it. So yeah, I should just play the resplendent the previous turn. Yeah, we're playing in Orzov Knights and Angels deck. All right, double block that. And then uh, guess double block the other one too. We're just trading our two knight tokens for their two knight tokens. Um, yes, yeah, so this is a donation deck that, that we have playing. I, I don't know if it's if it, this is well positioned. Um, you know, I, I just I'm not exactly sure. Like in the in the metagame overall, um, but so far, 
two games. It's been working out pretty well. First two. Um, first two matches. I, I think that we would... You know, like, control, of course, is going to be a struggle. Um, but we should be pretty decent against aggro. All right, two and O. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely a better time to invest into the game with the rare and mythic duplicate protection for sure. Uh, buying packs, uh, you get a whole lot more. You know, you get like the the cards in the set a whole lot faster now whenever you're buying packs than what you than what you did before. Whenever you could keep on opening up like the same rares all the time. I don't really like this hand of not doing anything until turn three. But I, I don't think this is a mulligan, though. Hey, J Bowles. Thanks for using your Twitch Prime sub. That's sub at number five on the day. So that means, as y'all know, that's our first sub goal. That means it is going to be pack time after this. Thanks, Jay Bulls. All right, so as, as y'all see, no stream tomorrow. Um, it, it snowed here yesterday, uh, so I, I couldn't go to my, my tax appointment yesterday, so that, that got rescheduled for tomorrow, and it's like right during my stream time. Um, so I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be doing that, I'm gonna be taking care of taxes and everything tomorrow. Um, also, tomorrow my new fan should be coming in, so I'll be trying to do a little uh, surgery on the computer um, and get that working a little better. Hopefully get it. Hopefully get it work, working better. So that's my that's my plan for tomorrow. So no no stream tomorrow. Um, we hit two sub goals uh, on my birthday on uh, earlier in the week. Um, and so for that, we're doing the twelve hour streams on Monday and Wednesday of next week. Yeah, the green the, mostly the green splash is for finality. Is the biggest thing that the green splash is for is finality. Uh, there's not a whole lot of green sources in the deck. Uh, no, I have no idea what Ram Ranch is, and I don't have any plan um, to listen to it. If you're saying that it's it's something bad, I don't have any uh, desire to uh, know more. The, I think the 5,000 gold draft is better to build a collection. Um, I think dra one draft is like really good practice to get better at magic also. And uh, you know, if you do, if you do kind of well, if you just win, win some games, you're going to be getting, uh, you're going to be gaining more than um, just opening up five packs. <laughs> oh, I, I won't know how to do the computer surgery. I, I'm going to be having my, my friend on the phone telling me what to do. Because, yeah, no, I, I do not know how to do computer surgery. I probably should have gave the Seraph Vigilance. I mean, well, they're they're just blocking with the Sandy. They have to. Uh, no, no line at all, Korean. I don't have any. No line at all. Um. Just give me. A day and a time slot, and I can get you in. So they're, they're blue-black control. 
I like Ixalan's binding um, against blue black control. And Duress is probably good too. Same with Bloodfast. Um, I don't want to have. I mean, Cast Down's the kind of card that I don't really want, but against Thief of Sanity, it's good. But against everything that's not Thief of Sanity, I don't really want it. I think I may have like one in the deck. The thing is, I have like all these like flyers that, that get to block Thief of Sanity as well. We're going to cut one Lyra, cut one Find, a couple Nine of Malice. Um, leaving in some, though. I don't, I don't want to ruin the curve. And one other top-end card. I'm thinking Shalai. It's either other Lyra or Shalai um, as the last cut. Could be a Resplendent Angel. Actually, I'll take out one Resplendent Angel without having these other threes and stuff. Yeah, we'll do that. The ritual set. Yeah. Okay, uh, except for tomorrow. <laughs> sorry, because no stream tomorrow. So a different a different day, sorry, but not, not tomorrow. Um I can do I can do Saturday or Sunday at that same time or Monday. Or you know, like another day. Um and I, honestly this weekend uh, so I could I could probably I could get you in today if you want me just to do it today I can do it today at like at 5:30 Mountain Time. Um, this weekend I'm gonna have to see if you know if the computer's working and everything. Who knows if the computer surgery will take more time? I don't know. Um, and everything. So I can do today, probably today or Monday, uh, would be sure bets. Um. No, I'm not going to be playing any paper. Um, but I right now my plan is to stream Saturday and Sunday. We're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to see if that you know if that if I'm able to. But right now the plan is to stream Saturday and Sunday. I kind of wish I would have led with the Knight of Malice, but they probably would have just cast down the Knight of Malice. So even though they're they're a couple lands away from Elvis Reborn, that's still like the, the scariest card that they have in their hand. Uh, these other things are just like one for one removal. Okay. Gotcha. Um, does, does Monday work for you then, Korean? I know that's a, a little bit away. I'm sorry about that. I wouldn't mind if this ate a counter spell or a murder. You know, like I want them to tap out on their turn here, uh, so I get to yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. Now I get to resolve a mortal sun, which is basically all I want to do. Okay, Saturday. Okay. All right. So if if I'm streaming Saturday. Um, I'll do that right right around that time. Okay, so sat Saturday, if I'm streaming, uh, I'll be doing it. If if I'm not able to stream Saturday, then Monday. So five thirty Mountain Time for Jeskai Angels. All right, cool, perfect. Yeah, Immortal Sun is a great card, isn't it? It's, you know, six mana is a big investment, and uh, it doesn't affect the battlefield immediately. doesn't have any kind of enter the battlefield effect. But it is so good. So I'm going to take Disperse here, because Disperse can can bounce the Immortal Sun. Even though, even though Murder kills Lyra, I just don't really mind Murder ki killing Lyra. 
blue black decks don't have very many ways to deal with an artifact on the battlefield, and that disperse is uh, probably one of the few in their deck. All right, Kalu King. Hey, best of best of luck in in the race. Good job, Fine Finality. Doing your thing. Not too scared of that Thief of Sanity. All right, let's go. Let's go vigilance here. So just in case, like, there's a removal spell on the Lyra, we're still good. And now, do I do I play the other Seraph? I don't know if there's a reason to play the other Seraph. I don't know if there's really a reason not to. Like, what's the blue black deck gonna do? Um. Can't really think of a, like anything that can really punish me. Like they don't, they don't really have good sweepers. We have the white versions in the deck. We have four Knight of Graces in in here. We just have a couple of Knight of Malices as well. You know, Knight of Malice, you know, isn't necessarily the best in this matchup. But it's still still a bear. Still still a grizzly bear. Alright, 3 0. We are cleaning up with our Knights and Angels deck. <laughs> I guess it must be on the, the good part of the um good part on the playlist, Sir Swinzel. Glad Glad you're enjoying it. Oh no, I didn't get the pack. Uh, I didn't get the pack. Yeah, three two first strike is a good. That is certainly a good bear, as far as bears are concerned. <laughs> yeah, on arena, the difference between constructed and traditional constructed is constructed means you play one game. Um, and see who wins and traditional constructed is best two out of three where you have sideboarding and you know basically what, what I'm doing here is, is labeled as traditional constructed I wonder if I should be casting cast out now. to draw land. Come on, land. Land. I guess I need specifically a black mana source. Didn't get there. Really wanted to be able to double spell. Well, you were... That was incorrect. Roanoke did not disappear off the face of the planet. Uh, that's a good find finality there. That's a really good find finality. Wow.
So if I play the Knight of Malices here, the next turn they're just all going to get brick walled because of the Wild Growth Walker. Getting, definitely got punished for using the cast down and not just playing Knight of Malice. Um, because I didn't have the cast down for the Wild Growth Walker, but they don't have land, so that's good. Play this, pump up the Knight of Grace's power. They're taking it all. Oh, wow. We got really fortunate they didn't have that fifth land. Otherwise, double Jade Light. Yeah, they would have been able to Walker plus Jade Light, then Walker plus Jade Light. They should have... I think they should have just... I don't know if they should have gone with that. We, we just got pretty fortunate there. Okay, so let's get these Honor Guards in here. I um, think I like Spyglass and Binding. So Honor Guard's replacing Knight of Malice. Um, you know, Spyglass is for Vivian. So Vivian doesn't kill my Angels. Or destroy my Bindings. Binding can get Krasis. Or Wild Growth. Or anything like that. The problem is this is 64. And I kind of like all these cards. Um... Weakest cards are probably Shalai and Angel of Grace. And then this is 62. Yeah, this is yeah, gods, this has been working. The the um our knight synergies to go along with uh the big angels, like you know, because the knights are pretty aggressive usually put the opponent on the defensive and then the angels then they don't usually have like enough removal for the angels and stuff it's been working out pretty well um all right let's just go with one spyglass and two cast down i guess two cast down i guess Since we have the bindings that are other more removal as well. No, I think Benelish Marshall is just too hard to cast. Like the three drops are good. You know, Resplendent, Midnight, Reaper, and History Benalia. Don't really need more three drops. And And Benelish is kind of a tough card to cast. Yeah, a Johnny. I think a Johnny would be a main deck card instead of Immortal Sun. Um, I think you could you could certainly play some Johnnies instead of like the Immortal Sun and the Angel of Grace. Um, and honestly, that that may be better. I do like a Johnny quite a bit. So I like how we have find to go with honor guard. So even if they have cast down for honor guard, we get to get it back. Uh, big fan of that. do one thing it's just best to get something on the battlefield 
We don't have to worry about the Golgari Queen killing the knight. I really hope they don't have Vivian. Because Spyglass can't stop Vivian and Frasco. You know, we can name one of the two, but then the other one of the two can kill the Spyglass. And then, you know, they have both Planeswalkers. I just can't stop the Planeswalkers. Could always Spyglass Incubation Druid and keep Incubation Druid from adapting. It will still add mana, but it wouldn't be able to adapt. Alright, looks like their plan is to just simply adapt Incubation Druid. I kind of want to Binding the Druid, honestly. I kind of do. If their plan is to... No. No, let's not do that. Let's play this thing. Let's see what else they got. Alright, so we'll say Golgari Queen. Now I wish I would have just cast Fine to get back Honor Guard. Um... It's going to be too late to cast Fine and get back Honor Guard. Yeah, like they're going to play Branch Walker and Jade Light the next turn. <laughs> no, Wearing a Tide does not improve the RNG. Cat emotes improve RNG. Yep, asking for the card you need before drawing it. Yep, that certainly does improve RNG, absolutely. Show just binding that incubation druid the previous turn. I mean, really, just turn four if I would have just cast find and, and got honor guard back and just played honor guard, you know, I, I didn't realize that they're. Entire hand would have been shut off. This binding has just been... It's just been too awkward with how much mana it costs. Hey, King Toll. Doing okay, doing okay. It doesn't break their entire deck, um, but certainly all the cards they've drawn. My opponent should not be attacking with Midnight Reaper here. 
Yeah, Binding's very, very good, yeah, against Krasis, absolutely. So we're going down to one. We need to draw an untapped land to survive. That is not an untapped land. We need an untapped land and just and to cast finality. We'd still have the honor guard, they'd have the incubation druid. I don't like Spyglass if if they have multiple Planeswalkers. You know, if they're if they're playing, you know, Vraska and Vivian, I'm I'm not loving the Spyglass plan. I think I'm gonna get a, another cast down in instead. I think having cast down for like that Druid earlier. Um, or for like a hostage taker or something like that. Well, our opponent was never able to cast, like they never cast their Vraska Golgari Queen, but of course they didn't really need to. Um, but if like Vivian's their only Planeswalker, I really like Spyglass to, to stop Vivian. But when they have another Planeswalker like Golgari Queen, you know, you can't, you can't name them both. I sure hope we get to six mana. The Immortal Sun is absolutely wonderful. Um, really hope we get to six mana. Um, Spyglass is also very good against the Simic Nexus decks that are pretty popular for stopping Escan to the Sunken Ruin. Uh, they don't have, like, many answers to it, and shutting down Escan to the Sunken Ruin is the key against Simic Nexus. Land. Okay, good. Keep in those land drops. I'm not attacking with the token this turn. I don't want the attack the token to just be able to trade with the two one branch walker. Next turn my knight tokens are gonna to be four threes. The reason why uh, Spyglass is good against Vivian in this matchup is because we have so many angels um, stopping them from being able to Minus Vivian to destroy our angels Let's see if you're is a big deal. If we were just like a, a knight deck, I would not be bringing in Spyglass for Vivian. It's it's specifically because of the angels. Ah, not again. Did not hit our fifth land drop towards the Immortal Sun. That's not good. Okay, there's our fifth land drop. And I really hope they don't have finality. If I attack here, I'm, only, I'm getting four points of damage through. I'm 
Nah, we, we don't beat finality. All right, they kept kept one card on top. Got rid of Midnight Reaper. Come on, deck. Where's the six land? That's why we're playing twenty six lands. We need to get to six lands. Correct. Yep, you can play... Yeah, you can put a 2-mana Krasis and have it be a 1-1. One, one. Yep, absolutely. With Immortal Sun, uh, you know, you, get to, you can pay 1 less mana for X. No, uh, Spike Glass doesn't stop anything from Wilderness Reclamation. Activated abilities are things with a colon. They have a cost. Um, so see how, like, on Doom Whisper, that uh, second line, pay to life, colon, surveil to. That's an activated ability. That's something you can shut off with Spike Glass. Wilderness Reclamation just says to simply untap your lands. That's just a triggered ability. Um not an activated ability there's nothing there's no cost that activates that ability so spyglass does not stop wellness reclamation ability so if you want to know if something's an activated ability look for look for a colon um you know no colon on hydroid crisis no activated ability Of course, if our opponent ever plays finality, we, we die on the spot. Hydro Crisis being a 7 7 is really annoying. As long as they don't have finality, they can have a bunch of chupacabras or something. Okay, three and one. Big flyers, too good. We did not have a hand that beat turn four Vivian into Doom Whisper, into Doom Whisper, into Crisis for seven. Our hand did not beat that. So you're saying that compared to the Scarab God, Doom Whisperer is very underwhelming, uh, but the Scarab God is not in um, it's not in this format, so we don't have to don't have to worry about uh, the Scarab God. So it's just kind of a an irrelevant uh, comparison for standard sake. Um, you know, Opt is a lot worse than. 
Ancestral Recall, but Opsy's a bunch of play in the format. Still. Hmm. Vanguard. I can't cast down that thing. Yeah, it was kind of unfortunate how Allegiance has just made the, the best decks from the pre-format better. Um, you know, like made Golgari better with uh, with Krasis, Mono Blue. Got a lot better. With Terramander. And then uh, Jeskai Control just kind of turned into Esper Control because they, they gave Esper Control a lot of tools, uh, especially uh, four mana Wrath. I, I would have liked to change to exchange Midnight Reaper for their two Sapling tokens. With this being green-white tokens, the uh, each one of their creatures is is pretty important, and I would I would like to trade Midnight Reaper for both creatures it makes like their convoke spells worse uh not having the creatures out um also like their pump spells things like tristani uh make the those things bigger um and so trading reaper there uh you know trades basically one for one one reaper for one at sapling migration but then we also get to draw a card that was that was a trade i was wanting to do i was not going to cast cast down uh to keep reaper alive is basically what i'm saying All right, good luck, Matthew. You can get it. Please don't have another Conclave Tribunal. Land into finality would be perfect. Especially this is like Tristani here. Um, you'll still have your cards on your arena account after they rotated. Nothing, Nothing's going to happen to them. They'll still be on your account. Uh, at that point, Wizards have said that they are building a, a new format, a, a new way to use those cards to still be able to play the cards because, you know, they'll still be on your account and everything, so... We don't know exactly what that format's going to look like yet, but that's that's basically the plan. I guess I could have attacked first. Gotten another two life in. Oh well. No friend of mine fights a heal. That one works. That's a good draw. Had our two best draws our last two turns. Drew six land for finality and then a mortal sun. That works just fine. Back up to 22. Yeah, our opponent could be at four right now. Could be four to 24. Um, doesn't look like like, they have to have a removal spell for Lyra either way. What's going on? I, 
I know I could play Shalai to play around Settle, but I don't think our opponent plays Settle. So I'm not even, I'm not gonna show them Shalai. If our opponent had Settle, they would they would have played that over uh, Johnny anyway. All right, uh, Duress is good, Mortify is good. Um, Hmm. Cast down, not so good. Binding's not so bad. I know Immortal Sun did some stuff there, but I don't think I actually won Immortal Sun in the deck. I think the games that we lose, um, Immortal Sun's not going to help us out too much. So this is 61. Um, Takali does some work against Tristani and Venerate Luxodon, but I don't think I want to play it still. Even though it's good against those specific cards. Uh, biggest thing I want to Binding is like their Conclave Tribunal, because Binding Conclave Tribunal will basically mean they won't have an, an answer to Lyra. Oh, right, Knight of Autumn as well. They could certainly be playing Knight of Autumn. I I forgot about Knight of Autumn, honestly. All right, I'm off the binding. Let's get some Honor Guards in. We got one Honor Guard chilling in here. Yeah, that's fine. Dress is awesome in this matchup. Yeah, I love Dress in this matchup. Takes basically everything. Um, you know, Sapling Migration, History of Banalia, March of the Multitudes, Conclave Tribunal, uh, Johnny, Adversary Tyrants. You can even take Flourish, Legion's Landing. Hate duress in this matchup. <laughs> uh, I wanted to take migration. I want to be able to, wanted to be able to take migration if they had it. This is why I played it on that turn. Hey, what's up, nerd girl? How did the um, how did the event go uh, yesterday? Yeah, these are these are basically the only three cards that we can't take. You know, it's just like these the three cards our opponent has in hand plus uh, a Danto Vanguard are like the only cards we can't take. All right, come on, White Mana Source. Hooray! Hmm. Most likely just cast, casting Venerate Luxodon next turn. So what do I want against a venerating Venerated Luxodon? I'm going to go Luxodon into Tristani. It's going to be really hard to beat. I'm probably going to need to do Resplendent into Resplendent into... Activate. Resplendent, 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 Activate Resplendent. Am I dead by then? I'm kind of dead on their turn five. Um, yeah, Hogs. Yeah, I think we played. I think we played it on Monday. Asper Angels was the last time we played it. All right, the second history. Let's let's go with those.
yeah, so now history into history is definitely better. Um, so I don't... Our opponent has to have March of the Multitudes here if they're making that attack. Um, but I, I'm trading my 3-3 Angel for their 4-4 Luxodon that's about to be a 5-5. Like, we are... We are at a low life total anyway. Um, I, I don't think we win this either way, but I, I think that's better than taking four and going to 14. I think we have a better chance, but this should be, um, like this, if this is March of the Multitudes, that means they have six more, six more creatures coming here. Uh, and then they're all two twos because of Tristani. So we're just kind of dead. Dead. I needed uh, needed to wait on that duress, I guess. Throwing out the duress turn one. Uh, not good. Not good. Let's go with the second honor guard over the fourth knight of grace. And try that. Good job. Good job, Matthew. Okay, um, Lyra is going to be really good if we get, get there. I led with Nine of Malice because that, that meant that we didn't have to shock to be able to play it. Uh, by playing the basic swamp. It did mean that we weren't we wouldn't be able to play Resplendent or History if we would have drawn those on turn three. Of course, we took out that option, but save the two life. So let's make it hard for them to pay for life. To keep the Adanto Vanguards alive. Because then then once it's difficult for them to pay for life, then we can like attack with one knight and keep another one back. Kind of thing. So I, I certainly want to keep one back here with Amara for the next turn. Uh, if I if I block Adanto, they can just pay for life and kill my my knight. The first strike doesn't matter. So it's not, you know, it's not really a trade I wanted to make. Leave a Knight of Malice back because if they have Conclave Tribunal, I'm going to want the blocker. Uh, they kind of need Conclave Tribunal because without it, Lyra just kind of kills them. For how they use that Conclave Tribunal on, on just a Knight of Grace, that's kind of telling me they have more removal in hand. If they're like willing to spend a premium removal spell on something uh, as trivial as a Knight of Grace.
Maybe I should have attacked though. Yeah, I guess I should have just attacked though. Okay, leaving leaving the nine of malice back was incorrect. Last turn. Could have taken out this other token last turn. And because of this abundance of mana, I like Resplendent Angel more than Lyra, because Resplendent Angel can hit for five lifelink and, and make a blocker. And so that's why I sent in the Lyra first before Resplendent. Again, they can they just pay four life and kill my Knight of Malice if I block. Trade Knight of Grace for four life. So if I block there at seven and I'm at eight, my Knight of Grace is dead. If I don't block him at five. Please don't have March. They do, they get to make five tokens. So now they, they can't afford to pay life with a Danto Vanguard anymore. They can't, they couldn't attack with a Danto Vanguard anymore unless, you know, now they just get all these tokens. Oh, we're dead. Oh, I messed that math up. I don't know if there's anything different I could have done. Leave Resplendent Angel back. I mean, if I block, they just pay the life, so the life didn't matter. If I leave Resplendent Angel back, it's the same thing. If I play, yeah, actually, there's there's not much I could have done. The main thing is I, I needed to attack with Knight of Malice in a previous turn. Or no, we're at six, seven, eight, nine. No, we're not dead. Okay, not dead. They don't have any instant speed anthems usually. I wouldn't expect like a Pride of the Conquerors or anything. Mortify would have been our best draw.
That didn't happen though. Yeah, one mana off of being able to activate and play other Resplendent Angel. That would have been that would have been great. Yep, Knight of Autumn life gain got us. Gain just a little too much life for us. Three and two. Good close match. Great, you know, like good hand there. Um, yep. Nothing in the graveyard besides the Knight, Knight of Grace. This deck worked pretty well. Um, yeah, for the most part, yeah, I liked what we had going on here. Uh, I do kind of think that a Johnny. I wonder if a Johnny would be better than a Mortal Son. I'm not sure. Yeah, some close losses. We don't have don't have anything really for that matchup. So I could certainly see playing uh, some Golden Demise in the sideboard. I wasn't like super happy with Ixalan's Binding. I, I don't know if we need Ixalan's Binding, um, but I guess that's more for like Rekindling Phoenix, uh, other things that are hard to to get there. Um, Tagali Honor Guard's the kind of card that probably should just be in the main deck, but it's just kind of hard to fit in, like all the the slots and everything. Um, but it, you know, it's it's kind of rough. Take it takes up so many sideboard slots, being in the sideboard. Um, but we could could probably find some room taking out like a spy glass. Take out one of those two for a demise. Uh, no, Seraph is miles better than Bell Hunt. This card is is miles better than Bell Hunt. I'd play this, you know, all of the time. If you're playing against specifically uh, red deck wins, then you'll want Bell Hunt instead. Um, but basically every other time you want Seraph. Uh. You know, like the afterlife is is really good. The vigilance is good. Death touch is good. Um, gaining life link with Lyra is incredible. It's just miles better. Um, if if you want to play two a Johnny, then then Immortal Sun's out of the deck. Um, and if you'd want to play a Johnny, you just take out one Midnight Reaper. For two a Johnny, you would take out one Midnight Reaper, one Immortal Sun. If you want to go that way. Um, I don't know if we need Angel of Grace. Find Finality was okay. Fi finality was good. I guess we do have Finality. We never we didn't draw that card. I forgot I forgot that that's really good against tokens. That's how we won the first game, of course. Forgot about that with the other the other ones. But no, the deck was good. The deck was good. So yeah, so thanks thanks for the donation there, Matthew. Um, so yeah, if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button there. And thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.